Hello, my name is Dr. Yusacher Greenberg. I'm the Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology at Maimonides Medical Center. I'm board certified in both cardiovascular disease and clinical cardiac electrophysiology. I attended medical school at Downstate Medical Center right here in Brooklyn. Um, for my uh, residency training, I was at Long Island Jewish Medical Center of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine and I served as a chief resident at Long Island Jewish Medical Center as well. From there I went to Yale University for four years of training in both cardiovascular disease and cardiac electrophysiology. The part that attracted me most about cardiac electrophysiology is, is a, it is the intellectual pursuit of medicine. You have to have a good understanding of the way the heart functions, recognizing these arrhythmias, and then meticulously understanding them and applying principles to investigation of these arrhythmias. So when we go into the heart, it's not all about fixing the arrhythmia. It's about initially making the correct diagnosis. And it's beautiful. <laughs> it is one of the most wonderful things to see how the complexities of how an arrhythmia works. And then when you understand the way the arrhythmia works, and then you can provide that treatment and focus it directly on the spot that the physiology makes sense, that this is the cause of the problem. And then when you see the arrhythmia go away, right when you apply that energy, there's nothing in the world like it. The world of cardiac electrophysiology is rapidly expanding. Um, advances have occurred in delivery of ablation therapy, in advanced mapping systems, in providing new techniques to patients with atrial fibrillation, um, interventional techniques to exclude the left atrial appendage, uh, use of defibrillators in a novel fashion such as the new subcutaneous implanted defibrillator that is totally free of an intravascular wire. Um, that is a recent development. So the areas of development are in all, on all borders of electrophysiology. The uh, environment in the electrophysiology laboratory is one that we aim to give the highest quality, most advanced technology service in the setting of extreme concern about patient safety. Every patient is someone's mother or father, brother or sister, son or daughter. And I look at the patient as if it was my own family member and how would I want them to be treated by their physician? That's the approach I take with treating our patients. I think when a patient is sent to us, they should recognize that first and foremost, we're looking to make sure that the care they receive is appropriate for their problem. It's not about what we need to deliver, but it's about what they need to receive. If that patient is appropriately managed without any intervention, then we are ecstatic to be able to give them care um, that is non-interventional. In fact, over half the patients that are referred to us for a procedure end up not needing one. In those cases, we'll reassure the patient and uh, send them on their way with just a, a adjustment of medications. And many patients can live out throughout their whole lives without ever having to require an intervention. On the other hand, if there is a patient that does require an intervention, our goal is to make sure that that treatment is done in a careful, safe fashion with the patient's comfort and needs addressed um, in a way that uh, allow them to return to the fullest possible life. I find that the most satisfying portion of my work is seeing our patients in follow-up after they've been treated. Um, at times, the patient suffered from an arrhythmia, and after completing an ablation where the patient is now cured from the arrhythmia, it's life-altering. And the satisfaction that the patient has with being returned to normal function and normal life uh, is gratifying. One of the remarkable things is after being here for the past 16 years and treating thousands of patients, um, seeing the patients come back who've had an implanted defibrillator and the device rescued them from a cardiac arrest. And many of them have no idea that they were rescued. In fact, these patients are celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, marriages of their children and grandchildren that in the past, had they not received that therapy, they would never have had the opportunity. And by far and away, that's the most gratifying part of our work, is seeing someone whose life you've changed and so dramatically altered that it's sometimes unrecognizable from their existence before they receive treatment.